the regular American people. They believe in law and order, period. So first of all, let's do something very simple. Let's just follow the law, right? There's three co-equal, co-equal branches of government for a reason. Let's follow the law and let's fund the police. Let's talk about your campaign so far and what you're hearing. Uh, walk us through the timeline here, because I know that each state is kind of different. So what is it like for you? So right now, our filing deadline is um, April 19th, which means you have to have all your signatures. How's that going, by the way? We're done. So we've turned in almost 2,000 signatures. Um, so I think we're pretty good. Um, we're ready to go. Now, what do you, what's your, big, your biggest foe so far? Who are you going up against as far as what do they stand for and what do you stand for? Because that's the biggest decision maker. We got to make sure that we get the right people in office. I agree. Yeah. Um, my opponent, who hasn't got her um, her uh, signatures on the ballot Isn't yet. Isn't that interesting how, now, wh why do you think that is? You think people just aren't supporting that person, or they don't like what they stand for, or they've just been lazy getting signatures? Well, she's not here at the Trump rally where you put America first. Yeah, she's at a, she's in Texas and at a cannabis rally, or a cannabis event. Really? Instead of being here in the district with all of her constituents supporting the America First agenda. Yeah, yeah. All right, how can people get more information on your campaign? Um, you can find me at Lisa McLean for Congress, F O R. There you go. Lisa McLean for Congress, right here in District 9. Right here in District 9. The great people and the great thousands of people out front. Matter of fact, I was just talking to one of the people earlier uh, that. It's massive. Unfortunately, the lines are, or fortunately, but people, if you haven't gotten here, you better get here and you better get here soon because I think we're at max capacity pretty doggone soon. Pretty doggone soon. Thank you so much for joining Thank us. You. And you've got a lot of people I'm going to talk to you today. Yeah. Thank All right. you so much. There you go. Lisa McLean uh, joining us here. And, uh, you know, she is just is a great example of just what the America First agenda looks like and what the people are really wanting to to get in office because we've had four years of putting America last. Uh, we're getting some things situated here. We've got more interviews coming up. I'm not sure, have we played the Lindell interview yet? Maybe, I don't know, can, can we ask to see if we have the Lindell interview queued up? Earlier today, uh, Liz Willis had the opportunity to talk to Mike Lindell and so did I, uh, with thousands of people around. If we can queue that up, and we'll play that and then we'll bring in some of our interviews as we get ready to do the speakers starting at four o'clock here. A uh, local time is when the speakers start. And then of course at seven o'clock, President Trump is scheduled to take the stage uh, for that. But we're glad you're joining us. I'm gonna step aside and roll that video. Mike Lindell here earlier in Washington, Michigan. All right, we've got the one and only Mike Lindell with us. I know everybody wants to get a photo with him, and I'm so sorry, I just like grabbed you. But um, I know you're busy. Yeah. Are y'all excited that Mike Lindell is here in Michigan? Yeah, good idea. All right, we're gonna flip the camera really quick so you can get this gorgeous crowd behind him. 